Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle, and in this video I want to talk about energy weapons, how they handle armor penetration, and why those energy weapons underperform so badly compared to ballistic counterparts. I promised to do this video like three weeks ago, and it took me some time to discover what's going on, and this stuff is really odd. And to show you everything that we'll be talking about, I have ballistic weapons, Paired with their energy version counterparts, if you notice, I especially craft the versions that have the same amount of damage per shot, like this submachine gun 28 and this energy rifle 28 as well. There is a little bit off with the heavy guns, as I didn't found the perfect match. Then one is 29 damage, 29 damage ballistic, and energy version cryolator is 30, uh, one off, but. Still, you will see soon that Cryolator will be doing less damage than the 50 cal with less base damage, basically. Take a look at my perks. There is nothing damage related. I remove all the damage related perks because it is important to check the baseline. What took me some while to figure out is basically first I was thinking that energy weapons base damage is messed up and it just show higher than it's supposed to, but it's not that. You see, if I shoot this commie bot, it's 14 damage with this weapon. And if I change to laser now, it's 14 damage as well. And the commie bots have equal amount of armor and energy resistance. Next weapon, 21 damage. And rifle counterpart, 21 damage as well. Perfect match, everything like I would expect, and I would love if this will be always like that. Now, heavy gun, 22 damage, and cryolator, 23 damage, as expected. Perfect match for now. Let's try on one other enemy, a little bit higher level. Okay, we have this little gulper here. It's 30 ballistic, 30 energy. If I shoot with ballistic, it's 10. If I shoot with energy counterpart, it's 10 as well. Now with rifle, 14. Add with energy counterpart. 14 as well, it's a perfect match. And 15, 16 for the heavy guns. Everything match perfectly fine. Okay, now we are back and what change? I dropped my health to be in range of adrenal reaction and I'm getting plus 50% damage because I'm at low HP and as well I toss in toss in Nerd Rage for another 20% damage bonus then at this moment I have 70% damage bonus with every weapon and let's do the same let's start with the pistol and with some commie bots and look at the damage numbers I already verified that the damage numbers are quite accurate in this case 31 Okay, laser pistol, 25, the same base damage, but already doing so much less. Now rifle, 46, and laser rifle, 37, much less as well. And don't look at the yellow numbers, the commie bots have only one part, there is no other parts and doesn't matter when you hit him. There is no weak spot. A heavy gun. 48 damage. And cryolator that's supposed to have slightly higher damage. Okay, let's shoot him. 41. And I'm losing a lot of damage on energy weapons already. And it's against enemies with 10 armor and 10 energy resistance. They have like nothing. Okay, and now we are visiting Gulpers again because of the perfect match of ballistic and energy resistance. This way it will not be affected. Okay, one Gulper is already with us. 
1990 as well. I shoot him with a pistol, 14 damage. Laser pistol. I hit his head. I don't intend to hit his head. Take this head away from me. 12 damage. And it's less again. Rifles. 31 on the head. Okay, maybe both at the head. Let's try. And 25 on the head. Same like with the commibots. I'm getting less than... Stop moving. A 22 body shot and 19 body shot with cryolature. Quite a lot less damage with the energy weapons compared to ballistic weapons. Okay, now I have heavy gunner perks on and as well bloody mess on. A hey, gulper. We'll be back. Okay, bloody mess on, heavy gunner perks on, 47 body shot and 70 headshot with 50 cal. With cryolature, we're doing 32 body shot and 48 headshot. Much less. Look what's the difference already with the... I'm doing the same with the body shot with 50 cal as the headshot with cryolature at this point. Cryolature is half behind and 70 with the headshot. And Cryolature is like already 50% behind. And just to make sure, take a look, the sh sh damage is it's showing 95. And 50 cars, it's showing 92 damage. Even though 50 cal is showing less damage, it's doing much more damage already. Now let's see what will happen after I will add Stabilize to the mix. And it will be fully spec. There is stabilized, and now let's try. And as you notice, awareness doesn't show reduce energy resistance, but it's actually working. I tested it, and energy resistance is reduced, and energy weapons will penetrate energy armor. Okay, let's try. 58 damage with 50 cal, and 40 damage with cryolature. Still much less supposed to be doing more damage it's doing much less damage try a headshot headshot it's 60 and headshot with 50 cal is 87 now why this is happening? I was trying to investigate for a while and shout out to Machete as well at this point because he was helping me investigate that. And the problem is with the damage formula on those weapons. Like what I show you in the video, I will link it in the description as well. Just don't look what I said about magazines when I was explaining armor because perforating magazines does work on ballistic weapons and only doesn't show anything in numbers then when we have a ballistic weapon that have this damage, this damage is used versus armor to determine the armor penetration. When we do have energy weapon, any energy weapon that shows energy damage, this damage is not used versus armor penetration, but the base weapon damage is used to determine how much armor will be penetrated, what gives huge penalty when you are increasing your weapon damage. As you saw, I increased it quite a lot for both weapons, and Cryolature started falling behind really badly compared to the 50 cal. And here, guys, you can see simplified visualization how the ballistic damage compared to energy damage that Machete sent to me. It's not true for every weapon in every scenario, but it's uh, basically the situation when you are spec into the weapon and you have choice between energy weapon and ballistic weapon of the same base damage this is a damage of the weapon a little bit over 400 like 420 or something and the blue line is a ballistic damage how much you will be doing versus enemies with the 100 200 300 armor and the red line is how much damage you will be doing with energy weapons versus the same enemies as you can clearly see 
the energy weapon is underperformed versus almost everything in every situation there is only a slight starting point when you are firing on the enemy with basically zero or close to zero armor and energy resist then both perform the same but as soon as enemies have any armor or energy resist the ballistic weapon is performing so much better than energy counterpart and yes i would really love to know why it's a different why there is a different formula for energy weapons if their base damage it basically looks like match for ballistic weapons then for me there's absolutely no reason to use a different formula and to screw the energy weapons if there is any reason for that and you guys know about it please let me know in the comments and at this moment as always thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one